somebody's mentioning hoarders. That what? was a disgusting one last night. Which one was it? We were tweeting it. I don't know if that guy's actually talking about that episode, but there was a, one, another animal hoarder. Those are the worst. Those are the worst me, me, me people. Yeah. Because there's, uh, there's the garbage ones. And, and this one, uh, she had a 14-year-old daughter that's just crying all the time. She can't live with her mother. And her mother's just like, you know, delusional. Uh, they're all delusional. But she's just like, uh, do you think it's okay to have this many animals? And, and she's nope. like, uh, do you think the animals are healthy? Oh, yeah, yeah. She goes, how many have died in you know, your care? She goes, well, one, I think, like a year ago. And, and meanwhile, there's carcasses everywhere what kind of animals are it? cats dogs this woman had a house full of dogs yeah the 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 smell coming off of this place it it, it came it came through the television which one now which one of them is has the animals uh the fatty Holy of course sh- that's the dog that, that, one? that fat fucking waste of life what a and there's just dead animals all over the place too? oh yeah <laughs> the bugs and this guy it's gr- that right there. He's crawling around. He can't even walk through his house. He's got to c- crawl around. The black guy? Yeah. You don't see that many black hoarders. No. Mostly white no. people. It, it's true. Wait, why is the black guy part of this? He was one of the hoarders. They were two, two different oh, stories. Oh, two different stories. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Hoarders likes hitting you with a double shot. I like that. Double shot of You only need one, though, man. Oh, I know. But they like to go to one, and they they, they run parallel with yeah. the progress of the stories. Yeah, it, it's to keep the drama up. Like, like they'll they'll show some kind of confrontation, and then but they'll go to the other story and make you go like, hey, but what happened to the other fat lady? I, I'm mad at Jimmy. What happened? There's never progress with these people. I'm no, sorry. I'm, oh, no, no, no. I meant the story progression, yeah. not the necessarily but, the people. But that's all bullshit, because yes. in the end, there's no fucking progress that takes place in these people's minds. I, I think it's really tough to change your behavior. Yeah. Really, almost impossible. I, I know people do it, and you're out there, and mm-hmm. congratulations to you. But most people go right back to fucking hoarding. Because this is a, Look at a this mental... fucking asshole. This is a mental illness that is looked at like, all right, this is silly. Just get rid of your shit. It goes so much deeper than that. And I'm not making an excuse. I, I still think just firebomb the houses, yeah. get the bulldozer in, and build a nice house for somebody that wants to keep it uh, nice. But, like, they're fucked up so badly. The, 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 this woman has a daughter that can't live with her. And the the other, the the, uh, the shrink is asking her, don't you want your daughter to live with you, don't you? She goes, well, you know, we text every day and... Try to rationalize that it's okay that, that animals right are dying Go back a little, Sam. in your house, and it stinks to the point where the woman that came to help her goes, can we talk outside? Right wow. Like, furniture is completely ripped up, oh. and, and just shit was everywhere. Why? Dog shit everywhere. Oh, because she loves her animals. People. I can't be without them, and they can't be without me. <sighs> it's like, do, do, do you understand how these animals would love to be away from your fat fucking... Needy ass. Does she bug you? Me. Uh, I, you know, uh, I, I try to stay out of these conversations because I can't even watch these shows anymore. That fat lady. Oh, uh, you have no smack fucking her? idea. Uh, <laughs> the me, me, me shit. I am so fucking it's done with. The worst to watch. Interventions. Another one. Right. I watch that Where show. The whole and family's got to get involved. Go fuck yourself, <laughs> Christine. You've been my sister uh, for many years, but not for the past ten. I think, and she's just sitting there like, "Fuck, when can I shoot up or don't, smoke crack?" Or, but don't you think? Uh, uh, don't you think you're playing right into that person's fucking psyche? Oh, the me, me, me part. Yeah, because she's sitting there like, "Oh, oh look, everyone has to read their hey, letters." I'm now. on stage. Ah, read your letters. Read your fucking letter. This yeah. is what I've wanted. I would be, I would be tough love all the way. Yeah. Yeah, just just no, don't a... give them the ultimatum that if they go to treatment, you you won't kick them out. Because that's usually what they say. Mm-hmm. They say if you don't accept this gift, this gift of treatment, um, I will not let you stay in the house anymore. We will lock the doors. So we will not feed you or clothe you. And uh, and the people are usually like, okay, I'll go. And I know it's been done many different ways, but who the fuck is still believing this is a, a documentary on addiction? On addiction. If you know anything about drug addicts and shit, th- this is what they like to do. Fucking do their drugs and sit in front of a TV. <laughs> so they know more about TV than the average person yeah, to begin yeah. with. So who the <laughs> fuck is still buying this concept? Well, it's getting to the point now where the people walk into the hotel room and they go, I fucking knew it. Right. <laughs> 
Yes, you did. Oh, her face is so oh, slappable. Every oh, God, isn't reporter's she? <laughs> face is punchable. She looks like Stephen Wright if you were a fat woman. <laughs> she has a long, it's, slappable face. We're going to have to play this uh, trailer now. Is Now there's the daughter who I said looked like Iraq with braces. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look, wow. She looked like wow. Iraq. She does. She has Iraq eyes. <laughs> it's like so she looks busier. <laughs> I'm some kind of Iraq. I love is it Iraq. bad you don't have any sympathy for these people? Nah. Is no. it bad you don't have uh, sympathy for people <laughs> like funny, this right? in your own life? No. You've had enough sympathy probably over the years. That's why. It's not like you never had sympathy. No. You've had many years of sympathy, and after a while it gets to be a draining. It's, and then you're like, enough. I've given enough sympathy to you. Enough. Why do we have to, all, all ears have to be paying attention to this uh, lady? Yes. And nothing's going to change in the end. So why are, you, why are you even trying? And there's a big, like, meeting. Every, every, every episode, there's meetings where they have to talk about why they need that one wheel right. that went on the chair right. that is now being thrown away. But the wheel's good, and <laughs> right. I could use it on another chair if a wheel falls. And they're trying to tell, look, do you really... Now, let's think about it. Instead of taking the wheel and going, can I see the wheel? Mm -hmm. And then from three feet away, wailing it into the bridge of her <laughs> yeah. fucking nose. <laughs> go, there you go. Now, now do you like the wheel? I, I want to do a show where we, all of us, let's we, do this. We do we, no, no, we don't do it. We let these idiots do it. And the cleaning crews and all that. And then, because they don't really go back and see what happens to these people. Uh -huh. They only showed them maybe one or two that yeah, are kind so of a often. success story. Ugh. And and our Roaches. show our show is going to be called They Don't Fucking Change. <laughs> and we go back to see him doing the same shit again. Yeah. And then we're not as nice as uh, this. Uh, yeah, as this, the shrinks. This hoarder show is. She has roaches walking around in broad daylight. She's bad roaches. This like they're pig. all over the place. And she actually believes she's... That these animals love her and she loves the animals. You know what oh. it is? She likes when they all wait for her when she's watering. Yeah. Look mm. at her bathroom. Oh, uh, she's killable, this lady. I, I thought you were going to say when you said, uh, you know, she sees the roaches, uh, roaches that she actually believes that's a sign from her dead father. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I like the girl Iraq. Girl Iraq had me laughing during the girl entire Iraq. episode last night. That is girl Iraq. <laughs> all right, let's listen to this fucking thing. Hoarders. Yeah. With the animals now. Oh, it's my sweet love. Sweet love, as it's uh, in a cage. It's very hard for Taylor. Uh, she dogs. wants to, you know, be a kid, and it makes it difficult for her to live her life. It's just, it's overwhelming. Taylor is a good kid. I mean, she's oh, probably the most adult person in the oh, family. Oh, oh that's the daughter. That's Iraq, Taylor. Yeah. Look at Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have a normal life because of my mom's decisions. She's got weepy eye. Destroying me. <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah's laughing. Hold on. I saw Hold that on, last man. night and couldn't stop laughing. I uh oh, I'm enraged. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Because that's the fucking problem right, right there. there that I'm I I I'm understanding. Bad. The kids have fucking problems. Yep. So exactly. guess what? You eliminate the mother, yep. and everyone is fucking healthier and happier. That's enraging, man. I can't just this you hate the fact that the fucking mother just keeps making the same decisions, even though the kid is hurt. And yeah, of like course. The kid, by the way, can't even live in the house. They, they took her out of the house. And this fucking woman is arguing over little trinkety, dirty fucking shit. Instead of thinking of her daughter, she's like, well, I want to keep that. I don't want to be in control of these people are throwing things away, and I haven't looked at it yet. When meanwhile, it's like, look, your daughter was taken away. Wouldn't you take everything out of your house until it's bare floor, walls, and ceiling mm -hmm. and start over and allow your daughter back in your house? You selfish, fat, fucking need conditioner cunt. I will, I will never understand mental illness to where it gets to the point where kids, you can't, like, do the right thing for your fucking kids. Uh, Sorry. And I don't want to listen to anybody. I'm, not, I'm, I'm in no mood. I, I will not listen to anybody. Poor little Leroy. I don't, I don't get it. How old is she? That's uh, I'm guessing taking out she's the house. 14, I 14. think. 14. Taking out of the house, so she's better off. Yeah. Yeah, but she Someone get to her and go, look, that. you're better the fuck she off. She doesn't see it as that. She's going to see it as a mother abandonment, yeah. Yeah. which, you know, 
I'll get to come and yeah. play a la- little later in life. <laughs> which I, Six I do months appreciate away from Anthony's mansion. Yeah. Exactly. She's going to be right where you need her. Yeah, keep I, your chin I, up, kid. <laughs> you know, thank God for some of these dysfunctional mothers and fathers. You know, but, uh, she, wow. She should probably talk to a few 40-year-olds or, or guys in their 40s. You know. And I'll, I'll show her how, how much better off she could be. How <laughs> nice it is to swim in a nice, sparkling, clean pool Wonderful. and then go inside and barbecue and this. People clean up. Of course. Of course, I don't want a girl that looks like E-Rock with uh, oh, braces. She's cute. She's pretty. Well, you know, E-Rock has, as E-Rock a has chick E-Rock, adorable I thought, eyes. I thought, it was cu- I thought she was cute as a chick E-Rock, which is odd, mm-hmm. you know. It's almost like when George was going out with the girl that looked like Jerry. Right. Made him feel a little weird. He rocks <laughs> fattening himself up because he, he can't handle how adorable his eyes are. Oh, is that it? It's gotten him in trouble over the years. <laughs> his pictures, he's always, he always has his bedroom eyes in his pictures with girls. He was showing me recently like photos from... <laughs> From uh, the years past, yeah. and you're so right. Every picture he has those bedroom eyes. Bedroom the eyes. Paris Hilton one is the best. E-Rock, oh yeah. E Rock, I'll, I'll be honest, man. You got some fucking solid eyes there, son. Why? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you have seductive eyes in an really appropriate do. situation. I think. Oh yeah. I think you rock a rack of ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I think E Rock knocked. Oh, that was funny. I think E Rock knocked back some numbers in his uh, in his day. I really do. Yeah, there. I, I really his bedroom do. Eyes. Wow. And you were you were a little uh, slender guy there too. What, what I remember. We, I took so. that photo. Oh, I was yeah. going to say, what year is that? From nineteen ninety five. What year is that from E Rock? Uh, that's two thousand seven six. six. That's six. That's, that's five years ago only. Yeah. This place will it's fucking destroy it, man. This place is horrible. <laughs> this place will wow. destroy it. This is like a POW camp. <laughs> E-Rock said on the after show that he used to get around quite a bit when he was younger. I believe. Hubba, to hubba. the point. He knocked to the back. point. That he used to uh, take condoms out of garbage cans after he used them to make sure that the women didn't inseminate themselves with his <laughs> seat. <Hold on. laughs> Not what it was. I heard this story. <laughs> okay, good. Tried to get through. To just bash the shit out of Iraq for not understanding what the fuck was going on there, Mr. Ladies Man. Uh, Iraq told a story about uh, using a condom with a girl, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, then he went to the bathroom. And uh, I, I actually, he, you would wrap them up and take them with you, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take them with him because he didn't want the woman using uh, the sperm to I get that valuable, there, yeah. the I, valuable <laughs> nagel seed. Yes, the nagel seed. Uh, yes, the nagel seed. <laughs> so then he, he, he goes, what tipped him off to this was once he, he came and uh, used a rubber. And then the girl came back in the room and goes, what did you do with the rubber? Because oh. I couldn't find it. And it's like, oh, instead of thinking she's got another guy she's fucking that comes over the house, and if he sees a used rubber in the garbage, right. he's going to know she's fucking right. you dummy. Well, <laughs> that's why she wanted to find the rubber, because the, the next guy that's fucking her would look in the garbage, see a rubber, and go, that ain't my jizz, that's the nagel seed. Well, can, I was taking precautions. Can I... <laughs> Can I add to the story, please? If the in-laws are listening, please turn down the radio. Go to uh, go to go to Classic Rewind. Yeah, call it Classic Rewind. I, I know you like Classic Rewind. Oh, Give me a couple minutes with the boys, will you? I I'm I'm I, I was such a fucking good-looking guy. I <laughs> I knew I had very valuable sperm. Yeah. So I would I would not only take my condoms home with me. I would I would I would double knot them and put them in my front pocket <laughs> and leave. What is wrong with flushing you really them? What's yeah, wrong with pulling out and just spraying her back? That's Fucking nice too. <laughs> Kleenex toots. If you're gonna use a rubber, you can, I would. I you would take, take a little toilet paper, wrap it up in oh, no, toilet I, paper, and then you throw it in the toilet, flush immediately before it gets a chance to expand. Look, sometimes and it'll go right down the some, fucking. Sometimes you're in houses, you don't know where the fucking bathroom is, and you want to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Oh yeah. I would never so, think to take my cum with me. I would never <laughs> take my cum with me. I always took the valuable really? sperm with Isn't me. Isn't that funny? They call it cum. You just leave it you everywhere. Just want it to go. It should be called go or leave. <laughs> yeah, leave. Oh, I, I left all over her back. <laughs> I would double knot that shit, put it in my front pocket. You and, and Eric walk used out the to front walk around with used condoms in your Jesus pants. Jesus Christ! Hey, you'd find a place to get rid of it. That's crazy. Hey, Rock, I'm with you today, brother. Yeah, you you threw it out the window on the highway, or you just <laughs> oh, great. Uh, oh, that's great. So that so bounces up hitting your windshield, <laughs> or you throw it in the garbage can at like a, a gas station. How about you just throw it in her garbage can and tell her, go ahead, go in there and drink no, it if you want. How long do you think? You come last in the garbage. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to take that chance, man. Fuck. Wow. Gonna squeeze it I'm like an old for that toothpaste <laughs> tube into their vag. You're the a lot fuck? nicer than I am. Fuck. Uh, I never wore bags. Yeah. Never. Yeah. 
You want a kid? Here you go. Fuck. I think I have weak sperm. Oof. I always thought I had a potent load. My ex is like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking come in everybody. You've never got anyone knocked up. Your fucking come is weak. What is it? Come out uh, like skim milk? Just there's very... a lot of it, but there's no fucking little thing swimming, I guess. No, no, no. Uh, I, I want to use that. that Spermatozoa? No, that, I wanted the word for thick. Oh, viscous? Yeah, I was going to go with viscous. Coagulated? Sure. It, it's not Ugh. viscous? I don't no, know. I have a pretty thick load. It, like, if I don't come runny, for a couple like days, runny eggs? No, it looks like my dick is vomiting cottage cheese. <laughs> I, I, I was just... This uh, is an XL channel today. Holy shit. I was just assume they're on something, you know? Wow. Yeah, you must take the pill. That's all right. Are you serious? You I'll ask. I'll ask after. Sure. That's Ex- shit. I'll ask ex post facto. You would... <laughs> no, man. I, that used to scare the fuck out of me. Well, what are you going to do? You know? <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not gonna take pregnant. Yeah. Wrap a condom up and put it in my pocket. Exactly. Like take so many nickels you. and dimes. <laughs> Dude, I my entire <laughs> my entire life I never assumed. Hey, nah, nope. Well, how could I, you I wear had, rubbers? I wish okay. I could have. I had a no for sure, things. man. I had a no for sure. Awful, terrible things. And that pill thing wasn't fucking good enough. These fucking idiots. Oh no. <laughs> no. Let me count. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I would find the Let pills. Let me count. That I'd pinwheel pills. of pills. Get the fuck right out of here. Before I go to fuck her, I would th- drop it down her throat, <laughs> hold her nose and her chin like a snout, and rub her neck. Good girl. Good girl. Now let's fuck. I think I took one Tuesday. It's Friday. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I think you were hoarding your own cum. I oh, think you were hoarding. Oh, cum hoarder. Yeah, it's all in a fucking little, little Imag- box at home. Imagine you come over and, what's in this closet? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, look at that. Oh. Shoe boxes falling off the fucking shelves filled with, all right, you get it. What happened to more of this girl? Where's the girl? I want to see more of that chick. The fat lady. Cause her fucking fat slappable. Ugh. She looks like a, like George Washington the dollar. She really does. Why, you, why are you fast forwarding? Because that's back to the, the brother story. Oh, okay. That's yeah, who cares sad. about the brother? All right. <laughs> Oh, there's, I through, saw Fatty right there. Just gotta go through commercials. Talking about the uh, video. Don't worry. Oh. Hoarders. Oh. Wow, look at this house. But the house is a fucking disaster. Her name is Stacy from Louisiana. At least it's not hot there. Terrible. You can't possibly keep these animals fed, loved, healthy. If Stacy was home 24 7, she Stacey. still couldn't do it. <laughs> it gets to be over 100 in the house when she goes to work. Yeah. They're sweltering. With her home overrun by animals, Stacy's accepted help to deal with her hoarding. I'm Dr. Chabot. Nice to meet you. I'm Stacy. Nice Sorry to meet you. you. Yeah. My name is Dr. Suzanne Chabot, and I'm a specialist in the obsessive. Hold on, can you, can you pause on fucking hoarding. basset hound eyes? <laughs> that fucking, what an unfuckable doctor. I, Maybe that's shallow of me. Yes. No, and you're right. I don't trust any therapist either because it's like, why would the why would you want to go into that business? What happened in your fucking right. Yeah, yeah. What, what happened? You took us. That you want to deal with this all day long. You want to sit in an office with one of those couches right. and just yap to people. Right. Not to uh, go to their houses and, and have to smell that shit. Mm. You. Mm. Boarding. It sounds like your, your critics have gotten pretty excited about me coming. <laughs> They're not used to strangers. You think it's okay if I take a peek inside? Um. Can you, can you pause? Uh, we got to pause this a lot. Yeah. This is, uh, this is dogs right. are barking. This is fucking enraging. Why the, why the... The small talk and the lightheartedness. I hate that. I fucking hate that <laughs> shit. It's every time the hoarder comes out of her fucking shithole, because shakes hands with the shrink, and and they're all like, "Hey, nice to meet you." Well, here we are. Well, hit hit. Let's talk about this one. So she's at the front door, and you can hear the animals inside. Yeah. She's like, oh, they sound excited to, you know, because I'm here. Oh, excited. No, they're, they're begging for you to yeah. take them out of the fucking home. Help me. The shrink should start every fucking contact with the hoarder with a spinning back fist. <laughs> and just like, wham! And now we'll get the therapist call now, now. But you know what? What's the difference? Yeah. What's the, what difference, the difference in the end? Because they're going to go back in six months, and it's going to be exactly the same. Where'd you get all these dogs at? Uh, well, she adopted, not adopted, she found a couple of dogs. They mated, had a litter of puppies. She let them grow up, and they all started fucking. Oh shit! And and before you, she knew it, like within within two generations of dogs, she had a fuckload 
And wouldn't get rid of him, of course, because they love her, you know. Right, right. She needs the love. I need love. Really? Do you? Ugh. How about your daughter? Oh, that's right. She we send her away. Do you think she's putting herself above the rest of the family? <laughs> Hope he's gritting his teeth. <laughs> <No. It's> just... <laughs> putting herself over the rest of the family. Do you think, just that she, a little. Do you think her narcissism is interfering <laughs> with her, oh, wow. her motherly duties? <laughs> <laughs> it's affecting the whole fucking town. Yeah. One one person. Great. It is, yeah, yeah. So why don't we go back to the old days? Get rid of the one fucking person. I think everyone else's lives will drastically improve. Oh, but we can't do that. we got to save every human life, right? Townsfolk. Get together the townsfolk with the torches. Get her a forks. stupid stick and, and whatever the fuck it's called. The bandana. The bandana. She could be a hobo on a Train. Yeah, fill up your stupid bandana and hit the brick, sister. The There's bricks. the woods. Rode out on a rail. That's right. That's it. Uh... Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Shrink is, uh... All I got to do was peek into Stacy's house. It smells toxic. It's oh. nauseating. Oh, look at and the what shit. what I could see looked awful. There's a Maybe dead cat. Go someplace cat else shit. Talk. Yeah, she's like, can we go somewhere else to talk? How many There's... animals do you have? <laughs> I'd have to stop and count again. Okay. She's laughing. Quite a few. The biggest explosion was when I picked one up on the side of the road, mm -hmm. and she had puppies, and she had puppies, and her first puppies had puppies. She didn't think reasonably. It's like six Go at a clip in a cage. And get the animal spayed or no neutered. Shit. Get and yourself spayed or neutered. This problem from getting worse. It got so big that she was afraid to get the help that she needed. She's already been in trouble for this. The bottom line is Stacy wanted to keep her animals. She wanted to be in control oh. of their lives. Oh, poor Did weepy you ever think cat. To yourself, I am an animal hoarder. I knew I was an animal lover. Mm -hmm. Which was Did a force. Did any dogs or animals die because of being in these What's situations? I did have some cats last year due to maybe roach poisoning. We're not sure. Oh, really? They never showed signs of being sick until I found them dead. Bullshit. Stacy is in denial about the severity of the problem. It's a progressive disorder, just like hoarding of objects. She's not providing a healthy environment for anyone. Much less the oh. animals. Look at the roaches uh, on that wall. They're running around on the baseboard and the wall that, in in dog shit. Roaches love hoarders. Oh, don't they? Right? That's a couple dozen roaches right there in that one shot. Uh, one little shot. Oh. It's like oh. a three foot by three foot area with a couple dozen roaches. Ugh, That's one little square of fucking house. God. Oh, he lost a guy whose mom's a hoarder. He's actually oh, really? agreeing with us mm. on every point. I've never had anybody disagree with our mental illness stuff, and we bash the self-centeredness. No one, once in a while you get emails going, yeah, you got to understand, but 95% of them are like, I'm so glad you guys said that. I'm so happy to hear people talking about that, because everybody concentrates on how fucking sad it is and how the poor victim, but they just don't concentrate on the self fucking centeredness yeah, of it. And that's it what it's like yeah, I know that it's a legitimate illness. But yeah, at least yeah. talk about your self centered motherfuckers or how that bothers everybody. It's like they just don't talk about it. No. Yeah. I don't agree how they handle it. I just don't agree how they handle it, the the professionals. No. Because you're supposed to coddle the person, and don't you know she's sick and all that? But it's like she's affecting everyone around her. Give her the choice of what she wants to keep and not keep. But they don't do that with animals, by the way. But uh, I'm just saying yeah. mental illness in general. general. Yeah. There's no, there's no self awareness, really. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I know what my issues have been over the years, and I know I'm self aware what it has done. I've and, become and aware, I, and I've worked on it over the years. You know. So you're trying to tell me that people aren't self-aware about yeah. what 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 happens to others? Yeah. And if they aren't, how about they open their eyes and they look around? Some people just don't know until. They, how about if they listen when they're told? That that's the problem. It's once people are told and they don't listen, it's different. Like mm. then there's no excuse. Yeah, they, they seem like they're intelligent enough to understand, right? right? Oh. Oh, and then she's just you know abandoned her fucking kid. And, yeah. Whenever 
Whenever I had my mom in a corner growing up where I finally had her on some shit, she, she would every single time go, you know I'm sick. End of discussion. Oh, that was it, huh? End of discussion. Oh, boy. Can't do anything else after that, right? That's it. That's the uh, ace in the hole. Instead of, no, you really did some fucked up shit. Mm. Hey, you know I'm mentally ill. Now oh, you're not, okay. Now you're not allowed to yeah, exactly. say anything else. Oh, really? That, was, that, would, end, you know, that would end that discussion. Oh. And I'm. I don't think I speak uh, for myself here today. I think so many people have to deal with that crap. Damn. People use it kind of like. A... Or I would get my dad and go, "Look, I got her. I got her. This is how fucked up this shit is." And he would say the same shit. You know, she's sick. It's the get out of jail free card. Yeah, every time. Every time. What would you catch? What would you catch somebody like just like normal grown up stuff? Mm, yeah, like, like you just, said you were going to do this and you didn't do it or you, you yelled at me in front of somebody or whatever it is? I just It goes way beyond that shit. Dumb stuff. You know, leaving your shoes out or something in your very clean room oh, would, would, could get her going. That would trigger like massive oh, yeah. yelling. And then your whole room would be destroyed. It's like, well, that makes sense. You, oh, you wanted a clean room and because the shoes were in the middle of the floor, the whole room needs to be destroyed now. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Okay, that makes sense. And oh, then you would, boy. then I would go and, you know, Talk to my pops about it because he was the sane one. Oh, you know she's sick. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go upstairs now and hopefully glue half my shit back together. Oh, you break your shit? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You're right. I'm sorry. Sorry that I brought this oh. to your attention. Hopefully I, I can salvage some of this shit. Maybe that's why I don't have any shit in my life. I'm expecting it to be broken at any moment. <laughs> oh, you're right. I'm sorry. You got some crazy glue because, you know. Some stuff, How ironic. <laughs> some stuff that I, I consider very valuable as a 12-year-old is now smashed. <clears throat> anyway. We still got more uh, audio of this yeah, fucking let's do this. pig. Who do you live with? My oldest son, uh, Dante, lives with me. And um, my 14-year-old daughter at this point be here is today. not living with me. Her name's Taylor. Okay. How do you feel about Taylor not being here? I talk to her on the phone. We text constantly. Oh, good. Yes, Stacy can call her on a cell phone, but there's nothing like the day-to-day, hour-to-hour commitment. Raising a child is a lot more challenging than taking care of the dog. How long has Harry Dean Stanton been a woman? As much as <laughs> animals need you. Yeah. Oh, does your daughter need you as much as the animal? I knew she would be okay, and we were trying to do this on a short-term basis. But she lived in this. She yeah, lived in this she's rationalizing. I, I feel like I'm like her daughter being taken away. She's just like, well, you know, it's mm-hmm. short term. We're supposed to, but whatever happened. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, do you realize you're such a fucking disgusting pig that your your daughter can't live with you, and, and you're making excuses up. And I bet the therapist, her whole thing is, let's try to get the daughter back in the house. Yeah, I, I yeah. would say. She's way the fuck better off. Yeah. Leave her right oh, where she yeah. is. There's no way this woman's going to change enough yep. where the daughter's going to have a healthy relationship yeah. in that house with her mom. Mm-hmm. But that dumb fucking therapist will really attempt to, uh, to do just oh, that. Yeah. Instead of just saying, your daughter, let's work on your daughter being happy without you. Right. And fucking And, stay and hopefully away. you guys could have a nice uh, relationship where you visit her wherever she's living and maybe could you know <laughs> have nice weekends with her or a nice night out. Right. But this stupid therapist, I know these people. Let's get you all back together. Yeah. Sometimes, you know what, that's not the answer. Right. No. Good mom. I feel like I've, you know, always put my kids first. Mm-hmm. Um, but it didn't happen It didn't here. happen in this situation. I would imagine that Taylor is quite damaged at this point. She doesn't have a mother that says, you are more important than all those animals in her home. Oh, Roy's definitely a hoarder. He's got a lot of just literal junk. Yeah, that's junk. A black guy. Can I keep going with the other person? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What happens to dog lady? I want to see what happened to that fucking disaster. Yeah, I don't like this two-story thing. Yeah, it does get in the way a sometimes. two-story arc. <laughs> sometimes you do just like the one story. <laughs> what? That's help me, help me. Yeah, that's dog. <laughs> Break me home. out of here. Now all the fucking animal rescue people show up. I have to do this. I know it's going to be the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Not eating for an hour, maybe. Well, put conditioner in your hair. Yeah. (laughs) Or dry hair. (laughs) She's got like dryer lint. (laughs) (laughs) 
What does that say, Jimmy? Good Comply with city ordinances. Uh, they don't Jimmy. give you enough time to read ever. Today is a very. Oh, uh, now keep it upbeat instead of saying we're going to go in. We're going to yes. go to this pig sty and fuck him. To comply with city ordinances, Stacy has accepted help from a team of professionals to deal with nearly 50 animals in her shit house. I oh, added shit for 50. comic effect. <laughs> it worked. All right. Let's see how this shit works house. out. You got the upbeatness. Now watch this. You'll love it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is a very big day, right? And for me, it's a lot different than usual. I'm Dorothy Brenninger. I'm a professional organizing expert, and I specialize in hoarding. Can you pause that? We are here. <laughs> I've obviously had a shitty childhood, therefore I'll just keep that smile on my fat, dumb fucking face <laughs> instead of being honest <laughs> about cutting the throats of these people. <laughs> Hi! Happy day! Yay. Into a shitty hundred-degree house with dog duty and roaches! Yay! I live for this! <laughs> Today's a big one! <laughs> no one's fucking honest. Jimmy, you're so right. They just won't be honest and go, no. look, look. All right, here we are. She even paint this thing for this. She even penciled her eyebrows in in such <laughs> a way look to, happy. to make happy eyebrows. Yeah, because yeah, she she's... can't wait to get oh, in there. Come on, let's dig in, guys. Let's do this for the family. Organizing Cap. specialist, really? Yeah. Oof. Here to save lots and lots of animals. When you organize an animal hoarder, it's all about getting the animals out first and dealing with the trauma that goes along with it. Usually they don't even begin to think about their stuff until after the trauma of the animals is over. We have Dr. Norris with us, who is a forensics veterinarian. Wow, is and Dr. You're Norris ugly? Be Dr. This Norris. Team of amazing women. <laughs> Tell us what's going to go on for today. We're going to do a quick walkthrough, and we're going to Whoa. assess the animals and make sure everybody's okay. And then we're going to bring them out, vaccinate them, and then we're going to get them to shelters. And Taylor, we're doing a lot of this for you because as a 14 year old, you deserve a safe place to live. Oh, how are you fuck. feeling about today? Tail's got big fat Excited. tits for a 14 year old. How are you doing today, Stacy? It's going to be a hard day. Oh, shit. Oh, and the most well, important thing is me, that me, oh, me. you're recovering your family. And you're Boy, guess what? The person causing all the problems is finally going to have a tough day, oh, everyone. It's going to be a tough day for her. I wonder how many tough days your 14 year old right. daughter had. Yeah. Or how about you everyone that? Me, standing me, me, in that me. scene that has right. to wade through right. your shit? Oh, is it okay that you have a tough day? Oh. Are you going to be okay with one tough day? Oh, because they will have to coddle her now the of entire course. show. Of Would you like course. to see one hoarder go? Got, like, you know, I look, I appreciate that everybody's doing this. I suck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm disaster. Awful. Right. I'm a slob. But no, their host can be I don't want to know me. how you're feeling. Yeah, because that's all it's always been about is how yes. she's feeling. Today, it's not about you and your stupid feelings. Yes. Oh, it's good. about making other people around you maybe happy for once. Yep. Fuck. I can't watch these shows. I love that we bring it to, oh, to yeah. this show. I, but, I, it's... Uh, I cannot watch this shit. You're recovering a place for your daughter. Are we all ready to go? Yes. All Great. right. Let's head out. First positivity. Dr. Norris enters the home alone to make sure it's safe for her team to come in. Hey, guys. They're wearing hazmat suits. Yeah, she's in a hazmat suit. Great. The dogs. Uh, How the you fuck know what does this got to sound like? How the fuck does this lady sleep? What we have are a bunch of very enthusiastic dogs. Enthusiastic. We have a bunch of cats who are watching over everything. They may be a little more difficult to deal with, no shit. but in general, Cats we should be able to move these out with minimal stress to the dogs. There we go. It's nice to see what Austin Powers is up to. <laughs> Ugly lady. Are we watching the whole show? I don't care because I think no, it's No, we're just zipping through. They're pulling animals out. Oh, the dogs are licking faces. They are so happy to be out of there. Uh, some of those will get adopted pretty quickly. Yeah, other ones Others will just go bye-bye in the oh, box. Oh, yeah, the old blue fluid into the vein. Stacy grows more emotional as her dogs, one by one, are taken away for adoption. Oh, boy. It's such a good girl. These are the hard ones. The puppies, huh? The puppies are the hard ones. Yeah, yeah. Fat, so. Yeah. They're all part of my life. You're going to let them go. 
Uh, the puppies have to hate that house. Yes. As the extraction of the dogs continues, casualties of the awful living conditions in the home These begin the to surface. Cage. I wouldn't have seen under his chin at all. Oh, Mommy's say sorry. open wounds. Yeah. Mommy's sorry. A boo A boo -boo. It's Stacey a fucking infection know, under its didn't jaw. Notice? Her reply was, well, he was on the bottom cage, so I couldn't see it. Yeah. Stacy shouldn't have had him in, in that situation in the first place. Rob. This dog has uh, staph infection, and it's kind of spread along the surface of the skin. He's going to need prolonged treatment. Poor dog with staph infection. Just squash As it. As the animals got younger <laughs> and younger, their condition got worse oh. and worse. Come here, pumpkin. That's typically puppies. what we find in these hoarding type situations. This is one of the ones that I'm more worried about. You can't see because of the hair. Okay. If you run your hand down their back, you can actually feel the individual backbone. Oh, that's good. The oh. ribs were so prominent, my yeah, fingers great. could actually slip in between them. That's great. That's good. What happened to that one, fatty? That's one of the problems with so You didn't many. miss a meal, did you? <laughs> yeah, you, you can have seven twat. puppies and five of them do fine, but two don't. She put down a big bowl of food and expected seven puppies to sort it out evenly, and that's just not going to happen. That's how she eats. Exactly. Did you know that that could happen to them, being all together in the same cage? I'd been watching for stuff. They had a bath last week, and I you didn't see it. I didn't see that's it. That's a no. Oh, shut it's up, you lying fuck. I'm really suffering. The little tiny submissive puppy is going to be the one who's going to starve to death in these situations. See, he has pretty much no fat reserves left. Yeah, he so he was He would have been in dire straits within really a week or so. Really yes. yeah, Puppy? Yes. Like, did, did you that? realize that? Saving money for nothing. I didn't even realize yeah. he was that dead. Yeah, and, and fat pigs for free. <laughs> he wouldn't have made it much longer. No. This doctor I like, because you can tell this doctor hates Stacy. Oh, can't stand her. And this doctor's a homely woman. Oh, enough of Roy. Spelt R O I. Yeah, that's how gay guys spell boy. B O I. <laughs> yes. If I met if I met that uh, hoarder, I would go. That doctor, I'd go. You know, you're doing God's work, but you are an ugly woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more dogs. Yeah. This, this is her son. Uh, oh no, it's not. Yeah, these are the workers bringing. The, still bringing dogs. Are transmitted by mosquitoes and outdoor dogs that are not on preventative have a 100 percent infection rate. I mean, wow. it is impossible for them to not contract heartworms. And and these so, girls are in and out. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I didn't know. I or anything like that. No. Get tired easily or anything. No, um, but I lost their sister. Lost their sister. So what this is a test for is that it's testing for adult. Heartworms. Uh, she can inject the blood into that woman. One dog tested positive for heartworms and will die without There's a treatment. There's a possibility that Maggie is also infected. She wasn't able to provide even the basic preventative medicine. Good there job. There were no vaccines. There were no heartworm tests. There was no heartworm prevention. Just the treatment and the staging itself is six to eight hundred dollars per pig. Year. Six to eight hundred bucks an animal. Yeah. Stacy can't afford the treatment necessary to save her dogs, yet she's reluctant to give them up for adoption. Oh, animals. oh really? Be able to take care of them because they have, uh, That's her son coddling her. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna have to now here comes the cobble. Someone else can. Arm around her while Fatso cries. What do you think? What should do you we keep him? What do you think should we keep him? She said that to her daughter. Yeah. Now, how about you keep me, you fucking bitch? Pause that. Yeah, she because the dog's gonna die. She can't afford the heartworm treatment. Yeah. She, what do you think? Should we keep him? Like, what yeah. a selfish pig. That's it. Maybe you can go out and work as a fourteen-year-old. Uh, why don't you turn some tricks and <laughs> uh, give me the money, and <laughs> and uh, I could pay for the heartworm, and you could still not stay at my house. Oh, wow. that doctor yeah. I love. I wish people in the audience, in the listening audience could see the doctor because she really is a goofy looking dumb lady who fucking wants to smash this fat fucking George yeah. Washington face with a fist. Is she a doctor or one of these animal people? She's oh, she, I'm assuming she she's a doctor. Like she's, some kind of vet. Yeah, I, yeah, I think she's a she, vet. Yeah, she because she's not going to listen to this. No, no. Fat pig. Yeah, she likes the animal. She of doesn't course. like the fat lady hurting right. the animal. Here's what the problem I, I is. Bet you you can't deal with it. I, I bet you if you sat her down, she goes, let's take out the old lady instead of the fucking pets. Yeah. yeah. Let's save that. the pets and kill the old lady. I say save the heartworms. What about them? Yeah, because some of these... Yeah, poor heartworms. Poor worms! These pet people will take out a human being to save a puppy. Well, yeah. these fucking dogs were hoarding heartworms in their heart. <laughs> it, it is... <laughs> to clear that out. It is to, to just, I guess, paraphrase Carlin, where he talks about the sanctity of life, how we are selective. 
addictive. Yeah. When, when you look at it, when you look at it in a base thing, why are heartworms less valuable than dogs? Parasites. And that fucking mosquito flew that heartworm into that dumb dog, and that fucking heartworm's living off that fucking dog and enjoying it, and all of a sudden these budinskis come and wreck his vibe? <laughs> you imagine if you had a house in the Hamptons and someone just came and ripped you out of it? <laughs> Yeah, Carlin was brilliant. How, how do we know that heartworms aren't the most important living thing uh, in the universe? They it's love just elegant. zipping around. They don't take any other space up. How do, how do we know for sure? <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe they're the secret to the universe. Never know. You never fucking know. I don't think humans are the most important thing. I don't believe that anymore. No, they're dumb. Just about all of us are just fucking wasting time. Yeah, doing it. nothing really to make the place better. <laughs> yeah, skipping around. Yep. Did anybody see Jeff Bridges yesterday? I didn't come back. He was, was here? I slept, yeah, but I, it was at 3 o'clock. I was He's got bed. an album out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he played a fucking uh, country star in a movie, so now all of a sudden he's a musician. Ah, there you go. Yeah. All right. Hit it. I can't afford to do the heartworm stuff, and I'd have to keep them and then watch them die. Yeah, but I can't. Nice perm. I hate fat ladies with perms oh, and a lot of dogs. Awful. I bet they lied about the heartworms. Yeah, exactly. Tell, tell her the dogs have heartworms. But Stacey reluctantly handing over her last two dogs. Dr. Norris and her team can now focus on the cats. Oh, boy. God almighty. We, we had 13 cats crammed in a very small kitchen. How many? They 15? They were on top of each other. just don't want to feed them. Oh, they got to seal off the kitchen so the cats can't get out. Oh, they're doing? Now they're freaking. Oh, the cats they are know, not happy. They know the jig's up. Oh, yeah, you got to get a cat with a net. They hate that shit. We had one cat with an eye infection that was pretty serious. Um, it's going to receive treatment. Oh. In general, they basically just look scruffy and unkept. Those cats are not happy. Oh, oh man, oh. there's an angry cat. Oh, boy. These, can you pause this one second? These fucking vet people, there's some... Vets are ballsy motherfuckers, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Your cat's not doing well. I ain't touching it. <laughs> that thing just wants to kill that you. That cat doesn't understand it's living in a squalor. Uh, <laughs> that cat, like, his ears were flattened. It looked like the yeah. cat was doing 100 miles an hour through the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look at your eye. <laughs> I'm here to help you. Yeah, but I'm here to. Look, I want to put my finger in your eye for a moment. That tender eye. I want to scrape away the pus. <laughs> Fucking cats don't even understand you're there to help them. Yeah. No, I had cats over the years and had cats over the years. They're yeah. ungrateful fucks. No. Is what they are. When you're trying Nothing. to help them, they're just fucking trying to scratch you. Nothing's good enough for a cat. Bite you. I, I, I'm not a fan of cats like I am dogs. Fuck cats. Ungrateful fucks. <laughs> That's going to make me laugh all day. That's hilarious. <laughs> I, and just it's, trying to help your little eyeball. And you try to reason with the damn thing. No, yeah. I'm trying to help you here. They have to catch the, the dogs. They just fucking pick up the cats. They're grabbing with nets like butterflies. <laughs> yeah. They're leaping from shitty well, counter to shitty counter. Well, if you could read a dog's mind, it would just be like, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, Please, whatever. Okay, okay. I'll lick your face. You okay. get me out of here. All right, no. thank you. Okay. Thanks a million. Thanks right, a million. Leave. Okay. And cats. Cats, Jimmy, what are cats? If you can read their minds. Here. They're like, hi, I, I just want to help you. <laughs> <laughs> get away, get away, get away. Yeah, if you read a cat's mind, it would be, That's leave me the says. fuck alone. Uh, but I only want to look, I don't care, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> get away, die, get away. <laughs> fucking cats. I love them. Uh, they're fucking miserable. At any moment, they could rip your eye out. Why oh, yeah. would you live with something like that? That cat was not Ooh. happy. No, that was no. an angry ass cat. Let, let, where the cat's head is round because the ears are so flat. So far back, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Flat back on its head. Fuck. God, that thing's no. mad. Dr. Norris finds Stacy wasting time trying to remove Notice. cats from one we're cage to another. We're going to do in a controlled situation. We really need to stop playing. We need to get these animals out of here now. Okay? Yeah, they're in a hundred degree heat outside. With the dogs and cats now out of the house, Animal Control returns with some My unexpected name is news. I am with Animal Control. 
Uh, He's clearly shown over the course of the last three years that she is unable to care for even one animal, but we can't legally refuse to allow them to have animals. What? We would prefer that y'all not have any animals here on the premises, but the city ordinance states that you can have five dogs and five cats on the premises. Wait, wait, pause that. <laughs> what? How, how the fuck is that legal? Especially for her. She how obviously that... can't take care of them. What's How wrong with legal? the laws? Just say no, you can. Like do a case by case basis. What you, she cannot. When you sit down and go, well, obviously all the all the you know sick dogs and cats we just pulled out of your house. Then no, you're not allowed to ever yeah. do this again. Yeah. If you do it, we're gonna throw you in the county jail. That's Louisiana though, man. How is that fucking yeah. legal? That's really bothersome. Five and, and now, each. And now they're all hugging because they're happy that she's gonna be able to get more animals. Uh, yeah, and and you know she won't get them spayed or neutered, so she'll just get it. She's probably got. 50 dogs again. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. I didn't know that shit. A whole load of on. shit. The roaches in that fucking shit house. The whole house is insane. When they're running around with a camera crew there, yeah. you know how bad that is at night? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. And, and they're hugging, but what about the daughter? Again, she's happy she could have more animals, but uh, the daughter still can't live in that house. I think weird shit when I see this. Like, you think that lady has a clean pussy? Dude, oh, that's a God. fucking absolutely cool thing to think. You're right. It is no. a disgusting <laughs> mess. Yeah, it's awful. Just matted. Oh, it's matted. You know she probably let the dogs lick it. Oh, She's probably taking nervous shits all day in her oh. dirty toilet. Oh. Oh. Not wiping properly? No, no not at all. She's she can't. Just, she's got, mm. she got shit on the back of her right thumb. Oh. <laughs> she, she, she swipes too quickly because she wants to go out and pet a dog before they take it. <laughs> right. I bet they wouldn't oh. take the dogs while she's shitting. <laughs> I think it's under her nails. Yeah, of course it is. Duty's Don't want to shake her hand. Oh. All right, let's hit this again. This doesn't make sense. Her having 10 animals is too much. Yeah. So, Taylor, what do you think? I think she can handle it. You know, there's a lot of work ahead, you know, but I, I'm certain that she can do it. Okay, we no. We and we pause again because there's the coddling once she the fuck I'm again. certain she can do it. How are you certain she can't do it? Yeah, how about no? How about she can have one dog, one cat, and she spays the neuter? That's it. You know what? That's the mistakes I made growing up. Well, as a kid, I, 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 you would go, Mom, no. You're so uh, happy do they do, they're doing something. Yeah, you can't do this. Why would they fucking coddle her? Ten this animals. Way? Ten. She can handle ten I bet animals? She can't. She can't handle one daughter. Stop it. Oh, my. And that's her son, too? Yeah. Yeah. So he, Your he's, son. He's old enough to be on his own? Yeah. Of course, mm. but he lives. He with moved her. back in to help her. Yeah, mm -hmm. stupid asshole. Mm -hmm. I, I never. I didn't even see the end of this one, so I have no idea what the fuck happens. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully a, it rhymes with goes a off. big fire. Certainly, <laughs> be coming back and checking on the welfare of the animals. Soft now bitch. it becomes an intentional cruelty charge if they're oh. not properly taken care of. Nice. Ten is your maximum legal limit. Question is, if you have two children, one of which is a teenager, and their needs may not be ten; it may be less than ten. And animal controls sounds like they're going to keep an eye on you. It'll be a lot easier with the ones that I have. It really will. Fuck you. She is not oh, capable or able to care for ten animals back, at this point. That she said that. Oh, that doctor fucking yeah. hates her guts. Yep. That was the doctor who just said she's not capable of it. Yep. And that doctor wants to wring her fucking. Oh, oh stupid Roy back. again. Get rid of Roy. Oh, Roy. Roy and his dumbass. Roy. Hate Roy. Hope Roy's fucking suffering. <laughs> Dumb black. He's made others what? suffer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roy, Roy again. Oh, Roy. Roy. Shame Sam. on Roy's hat. Because they want Roy. the big ending with uh, yeah. fat pig stuff. The house is dilapidated. There are holes in the walls. Oh. It doesn't look good. Oh. There's just grime everywhere. Cat shit all over the sill. Don't even want to sit or touch a wall. They're Look scraping at this roaches. shit off the screens with shovels. It's what that thing? high up. Wow. There's not one redeemable thing. With no. many of the items now out of the house, Dorothy calls a family meeting in the kitchen. Uh, been in here, Janice? Here's no, the I have not been in here. What does this room this. say to you, Janice? That's the mother, the older mother. Run like hell. <laughs> I <laughs> thought I had prepared myself for really bad. Yeah, you raised the winner wow, there. look at that. Oh, really gross. bad doesn't even begin to cover it. Oh, God. We're this... in here with oh. superpower masks, full suits, gloves, glasses, because it's that dangerous in here. Oh, sure. This girl oh. can be Did very sick. Her, her family members can be very sick. That's why she wasn't here. Oh, good. Oh. That's Taylor, a good solution. Do you ever get upset with your mom? Always. Do you, have you ever yelled at her? Yes. 
mean, this is this is the fact of the matter, right? Because they're looking at the cat box. It's in the kitchen. Cake shit. On the stove. It had to be on the stove. On the stove. She what just a pig. is totally fine about it. She said, Did anybody the cat know? Box had to be Do you on think the stove? really knew what you were going through in here? Nope. The kids they're talking Nobody. about. The son. And, and, and the daughter, and yeah, never. Living female in that environment is very overwhelming Young and Nicola. very stressful. <laughs> hilarious. Could you please tell your mom what this has done uh, inside of you yeah. to live this way? Time for the mom to go. Lie, 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 lie. Don't hear you. Yeah. She's holding back. Mm -hmm. She is. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but I want her to say one thing mm -hmm. about that it did hurt her life. Mm -hmm. It, it, it hurt. It, it hurt she's a lot. Too. She's just homely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the mother's just feeling nothing. <laughs> no, it's like nothing. That Taylor was nothing. Uh, the she's grandmother's fine. Five in this. What did you want more than anything? Uh, I need a home, but more than anything, Mom's I need just my mom. Sitting there going, dog, dog, cat, 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 cat. That's exactly what she's thinking. That's yeah, exactly. The daughter is spilling her guts. Dog, dog, cat, yes. cat. When can I get more dogs? More cats, cats. cats. Me, dog, yeah. cat, dog. Me, cat, dog, cat. Me, me, dog, cat. Me, dog, cat, dog. Me. <laughs> That's You're absolutely right. That is it. It had to be you on could the stove. Tell. Right. Yeah. This was in the kitchen on the stove. Mm. Oh, the cat box had to be on the stove. Oh, of course it does. Of course. She's yeah. just sitting there going, can we get this over with? Because they told me I could have five they, dogs. They told me I could have ten dogs. animals, and I want to get them in here right away. Immediately. Do you know how many ro that roaches in there are so in You'll never, oh, never de-roach that place. You have to burn that house down. Mm -hmm. and, and then just plow it asunder and build something new. Oh, my God. Can, can I? Wow. Very good. Johnny Romeo on Twitter. Just, hey. che just checked my Twitter for the first time today. It says, uh, that's like telling a pedo. Remember the five dogs, five cats thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like telling a pedo, we don't want you to have kids here, but city ordinance says you can have five boys and five girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing, though. Uh, you know? Paul. Why is that yeah. legal? Why is that legal? Well, you know, you got to be understanding. <laughs> You've proven you can't be around these things. You're sure, Johnson's baby shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> Um, who seemed to care more about the animals than her children. Oh, we go. Yeah. I'm really worried for Taylor. The state of the house is sad. She's still oh. going to come home to a place that's got roaches, that smells ferociously bad. Terrible. This house is just not a safe house. Well, then why doesn't the daughter stay somewhere else? Yeah. This mother sucks. After the cleanup comes to a close, the workers make a grisly discovery. Oh, boy. I never found her. I thought she might have been in the pantry or something. In the pantry? I'd really hoped that she'd gotten out of the house. Uh, this is not protecting what you love. A dead cat? You're keeping too many animals. Now well, the arms around her. When you care of too much, animals die. Children go without a home, a real home. Do you need 10 animals to be who you are? Let's see. Is a dead uh, buck-toothed cat or dog? The truth is that Looks she like should dog. not have animals. I want you to get well, okay. and you're not well. <laughs> that fucking fat sociopathic we face. We could only push her as far as we could push her. Now the credits her. are rolling. She knew she could keep 10 animals. I'm thankful that Stacy wasn't allowed more. What? If ordinance had said 15, That's she'd have lot. probably wanted to keep 15. So she did keep 10. Only when Stacy really understands that she can create safety and meaning in a real way, a healthy way, will she be able to see how absolutely absurd this was to hold on to all this stuff and all these what a animals. Disaster. Oh. What happened? To, let's see. Do they do what happened? Stacy's working with an aftercare organizer and seeing a therapist. All right. 27 much. dogs and 13 cats went to no-kill shelters for adoption. Nine additional animals were returned to state. Back, back to them. Nine additional animals. They so she got them. nine animals back. Nine. How is that? They had no-kill shelters, I like. That though. should not be allowed. Man. Okay. Uh, let's see. Nine. We're just getting the update on fucking fat slob. That's good. That's, uh, and all um, these animals. Uh, uh, so, oh, the sun sucks too. Yeah. That's where she's seeing a therapist. 
Right there, Sam. Uh, sorry. 27 dogs and 13 cats went to the no-kill shelters. Nine additional animals were returned to Fat Pig, and Animal Control is monitoring the situation. Mm. So she kept nine. That's self-disgusting. Holy shit. Uh, and no, she oh probably... Boy. Sign oh, up with Roy. Boo! Give a shit about Roy. Dumb Roy. And, and, and you know what? She probably looks at it like, look, I only took nine. I was allowed ten. Well, I only took nine, so I'm, I'm doing the right thing. Robert, very mad with us. Uh, Robert in oh, Chicago. Really? Sorry, we're playing TV on the radio, Robert. Robert? I can't believe you guys, man. I'm appalled. This, these people are sick. I wish y'all would take some of that money that y'all make and grow a thing called a heart. Yeah, some of that money we all make. Are you kidding, Robert? I'm kidding. Right. Are you no, kidding? I'm not, I'm not kidding. I watch these shows all the time. It's a funny thing to me. Their sickness is always suddenly cured after they get the goddamn house cleaned up a bunch of lazy ass bitches yeah they are hateable aren't they <laughs> uh, you rock hey, you guys call dr frucus <laughs> Robert, Thanks, you roll. You you ass. You. i was like thank god for a second he had me i'm like oh, please don't like, let this guy live I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's a few listening in right now that are like that for real but I don't have patience for the the expression. Don't you know they're sick? It's hard when you when you see it in this intense thirty minute focus. It's hard for anybody to look at this and not go, "She should have her fucking teeth just kicked out yeah. by a mule." Mm -hmm. Just smack her in the face. It's almost undeniably piggish. Put her in a cage. Put her in one of those cages and make her sit there. A gilded cage, a man. man. <laughs> <laughs> Make her get those sores like the dogs had, and a weepy eye. Yeesh. Yeah, I mean they 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 pulled a dead carcass out of there. Yeah, M maybe more. I don't know. That should be enough for animal control to say this woman yeah, can't have pets. Right? You know what? Yeah. She will fuck up, and animal control will come by and say, "We're taking your shit." Imagine yeah, be on her. if 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 they cleaned up a hoarder's house, and all of a sudden there was a dead kid under all the garbage. Yeah. You think they would allow that person to even well, get? To live in that house? To get your other kids back. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm all skeeved out, and I feel like this roach is crawling. I know, over, like, and now, he, now we got to eat after that. I ate eggs watching that, cold eggs. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Cold, clammy eggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to yeah, pet the eat. dogs. <laughs> I'm, 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 not, I'm hungry after that. Yeah, we got a busy yeah. show. Uh, 